Hey guys, welcome back to Trek Yards. He is Commander Cosmos. He's got a Foley. For real. In, in, in the flesh, not I mean, animated. He is 2D to you all, but he is 3D to himself. And to others, sometimes. Anyway, yeah, today we're here to talk about something special. A crossover between animated Lower Decks and Strange New Worlds live action. Uh, we got our first kind of image of what's going to be happening so i mean this is this is possibly one of the exciting parts of next season beyond the what might they do because it's a no joke official full narrative crossover with the lower decks people who are in the future and the fully original timeline because we see connies and such connecting with the stranger worlds which are in the visually updated same timeline but it's all different looking Better than Discovery, of course, but it is not trying to be TOS, yet the, uh, the Stranger Worlds people come from the TOS world, so we're always expecting a reference to, well, the set, the ship's a little bigger than I thought, you know, they'll have to play into that slightly, because you can't have them go back and not make comment of, this is not how it looks in all the historical documents, nor the museum, that, you know, they'll, anyway, side note, that's happening, of course, the question was, are we gonna, is it going to be an animated episode, is it going to be live action, is it going to be, the questions were abundant, I always thought the answers were obvious, but we've now had an answer, and I want to take you through the journey of how, 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 how this could look, right? I think I think maybe mix of both though, because we've heard from Anson Mount that you might see an animated Pike, so it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Yeah, I would assume that he would then beam up with them to the Cerritos, and then you get this. You'd have to do, but I, I would do both, since it's like you have both active production companies. It's not as if you're like bringing back an old an old art style thirty years ago. It's like you just ask them to draw Anson, right? Anyway, so here they are, animated form. Of course, Boimler and Mariner are the two, the main two. Uh, purple hair, he is known for. Both ensigns, that is their uniforms, only designed for uh, animated. And they look balanced in this form, right? Because it's, 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 it is what it is. The next shot is the first time we've got interpretation into a more real version. Star Trek Online added them. We've not noticed, not noticed this specifically, but what do you think now seeing the uniforms brought more into a real dynamic vibe uh they feel very good i'm i'm a huge fan of this look actually uh they do have the com badge up higher like than than you like it shouldn't be touching the line necessarily but we'll get into that um it but it looks good here i really like the star trek online's interpretation of it and especially the andorian i think that just looks great honestly um even the Admiral uniform is quite impressive here, so, yeah. Yeah, my only critique is that I think that the white line is incredibly thick. It works fine animated, but it's really thick. I mean, same, you know, part of the TNG line that you have on that is it's almost so subtle you can't see it, but you do see in close-ups. All these lines are exaggerated because they're animated, but they feel exaggerated. This doesn't look real to me. It looks like it's animated, which is how they should have done it, right? It's an animated into a game. This is the wonderful people at Lower Decks who then went to a convention and they had some costumes made. Uh, they found a lady, made them, went to the convention. I mean, this says how great the team is, because I've never seen anyone do this. I mean, Anson hasn't turned up in costume. Patrick didn't. Why would he? But these they did, right? Even the purple hair. So this is, their, this is the first actual real interpretation and how they might look in it. So how do you think now? These were fan-made. Fan-made, but asked by CBS, but fan-made, just for clarity. Yeah, and I was at that convention when this happened. I did miss it on stage, though. I did see footage of it later. But <clears throat> again, the, here the the black looks a lot bigger. It looks like it goes down further to accommodate where the com badge is, unfortunately. And the com badges seem too small, and also the wrong color. For some reason, they're like black here. I mean, you can tell the um, black levels are a bit screwy in this picture. It's a press picture, and obviously, the I think they used a flash and only grabbed the highlights. And it's, yeah, it's a weird picture. Yeah. But no, it looks good. I was it was I was impressed that they did this actually to be on stage, and uh, I, I, the uniforms look fantastic. I love the V the V cut in um, Mariners. Um, it really kind of accentuates the the shapes. Um, but yeah, and <laughs> point where even with the purple hair, uh, <laughs> how are they going to do that? I don't know. Um, but but I, I do agree. I think the black is definitely a lot too thick. It doesn't feel. I think Ransom's feels. Like, actor playing Ransom feels the closest in proportion, 
because he's got a bigger torso. If you go back to the first picture, Mariner's thing, I mean, yes, maybe her body's smaller, but it is so radically further up, whereas Rutherford's, it feels broad. I, I much prefer the animated look. It's 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 sleeker. If you cut to the original again. It's like I say. It's yeah. It's not proportioned right in my head. Even the low, even though it's starting line one, it's kind of better. But it's ah, oh, it's strange. Yeah, and even actually, if you look at Mariner in the uh, original one, she doesn't have the V cut in it. She's got more of a straight across. Um, this was a early season one press image, though. You might have tweaked that uh, during because I don't necessarily remember they have even have the V. I don't. It doesn't. It's a nice look, though. I do like it. But of course, then the question then is, how are they going to look? Well, here is the shot from the trailer. Uh, it's not the best source nor the best resolution, but it is cl it is clear enough to see some things. Of course, this is an official costume made by official people, so it best look better. As you can see, full live action. You can see the two people uh, easily recognizable their faces, and there they are with a. Uh, a very buff looking at some mount very <laughs> strong looking on. I mean what a what a good looking for. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And here again, going back to that V, it's gone. This is like more like in, in line with the original image we had. So um the black does seem to extend down again quite far, especially on Boimlers. Um, but I do like the the badges seem to pop a little bit better here than I, in the I, I think you're right though. I think they've said well we we have to keep the badges where they are, so we'll match the black. But because otherwise the badges have to be up here and it wouldn't look right. So that, I think, is just a, de de a, a, a design disconnect that they can't quite connect. Because, yeah, the badges are definitely bigger. Because, they, yeah, they would look silly. If they were twice the size of the Strange Worlds badges, it'd look ridiculous. When they really are just the, this badge. I mean, they've said, Micah said, it is this badge they've just taken out. Because he said that he liked the idea of them just taking literally the badge and then just removing the gold. So that that is what it should look like, this size, no ifs or buts. But if the size and designed around the costume, it, it won't necessarily translate properly. I gotta say, it looks a little lazy on Boimler. It just it doesn't feel like uniformy. It the lines down too far, and that kind of distracts a little bit from it. I think Mariner's looks fine. She's also posing properly. She's doing it out of her chest and her shoulders. It's kind of like posed, which helps. Like Laan, like she's very ready to go, right? Yeah. Um, but that's just my takeaway from it. Just. It, It'll be interesting to see them moving and and see how it looks then. But yeah, it's 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 tricky just because is it its own uniform? Is it or is it a cartoon uniform? That's where they had to work out the line. Do they redesign it to fit live action? Because I can't believe they ever thought it was going to be in live action when they made season one, right? We were barely got these Trek shows off the ground. Let's make it and let's go. Let's go, right? Maybe we'll be in a game, but this is real, real. But the way the way it's far down, when I see the Mariner one, it feels like there's something constricting her shoulders. Like a like it feels like there's something, right? It just feels so constricted, as if she's if that's a piece of fabric, as if she only has this movement. It doesn't feel connected as part of the uniform. Um, it's very interesting, and I wonder if if because I would love to compare that to how 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 deep the Voyager color is, because that feels perfectly balanced. But what if that is the same length as the Voyager, but maybe the added white makes it feel thicker? Because I don't know if they would say, like, there's, there's, there's baselines to go by, right? Proportions that work. I don't know if they'd say, let's just double that. Is it just the white that's maybe optical illusioning us? It could be. It could be. And it even seems here in this image that Mariner's is higher than Boimler's. Like, it just, it, I don't know if it was tailored to her specifically, and it just didn't translate well to his, because hers looks higher than his. And you're right with the Voyager one that there is quite a bit of color, but they also have the V. They also have the V that goes down. And that, I think, helps it you know, immensely. So, And, and also, mm. maybe, again, because of the, the, the amount of black, the shoulder blade points, they feel very distinct in normal uniforms here. They don't. But if, if the black goes down further, you couldn't extend those too much. Then you get a Prodigy uniform where they're very extended, then it's going to be about half her shoulder. So again, they're they're fighting their own design. Uh, but here's a here's a comparison of the evolution of this uniform from 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 literally from one license to another license to a uh, in person to uh, on screen. That is a hell of an evolution. I am beyond thrilled for this. It's not something we ever thought we we were gonna get. But I, I thought about this the other day, and it's the only one that makes sense because of course they're both episodic, more light shows. Prodigy, it's it is what it is. You, you and it's also before. 
uh, oh, it's after. Um, Discovery wouldn't make sense. Picard wouldn't make sense the same way. They'd be too old and like they they said, well, we want to do something. It's gonna be so fun to see. Well, <clears throat> the interesting thing here, it seems on the live action uniforms that the red stripe is gone because it doesn't oh, stand out at does. all, especially especially on Mariners, right? So that's also what I'm seeing. The lack of because I'm. Oh my god, you're so right. Yeah, because it isn't just what I think about it, it's how all the pieces connect that I know should be there. Yeah, there's no red on the collar, clearly, and there's no red... Oh my god, you're right. And see, when, when you look at the the press photo, it's interesting because I think the black is the same length down, but because of the red stripe, wow, yes. your, your, your eye just translates it differently. Yeah. Because it just feels like a big, chunky black versus this... Oh my goodness. Nothing to break it up. Oh wow, and that that should be so obvious, and and it and it can't be there because you can see, because the red goes over the white stripe of the shoulders of of the line. It, there's clearly no break in the white, so they've entirely removed the red. Wow, is that to make it feel more voyagery? I mean, what if these are people? What if these are what if these are them from earlier in the timeline, later potentially? Which would be a weird caveat to say. Let's have them from season seven. Them that seems like an odd like. This perceptual season seven of Lower Decks, but why have they removed such an important part of the uniform? Maybe the upcoming season of Lower Decks has new uniforms, and they're tying into that. And but it seems odd to remove the the flap, given that's now a Picard thing. Yeah, and they use the flap quite often in Lower Decks. Actually, <laughs> you see it open a few times. So, wow, yeah, that's super interesting. Because I mean, just seeing them, the same two actors in the fan version. You yeah, can't really, be missing it. It's really hard to tell with this quality, this resolution picture, but it doesn't seem like there's stripes on the boots either. I thought that too, yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm. Now, in fairness, they might caveat this with they were on assignment somewhere else and they have a, a hybrid uniform. Because maybe they get a, 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 a middle deck assignment, not a lower deck assignment, not a high deck assignment. But then, that, you know, if you were the producer of Low Decks, you think, oh, they didn't want to use our uniform? That's a bit sad. Like, this is their one chance, probably. Oh, it's so strange, yeah. But overall, when I first saw the image, I was quite happy and quite Oh, it impressed. made my day, Stuart. It absolutely yeah. made my day. I know, you messaged me right away. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, we're here filming a video about it for you guys. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for this. Yeah, and how deep they go and... and... And just the commentary, because it's there. There are two shows that you know Laan says just commentary about people, and certainly Ortigas. I mean, she'll say, "God knows what," right? She could say whatever she wants. The, so they'll bond really well, and and Pike will just say, "Oh, well, don't smile, Mrs." They're very commentary based people. And my God, so are Lower X team. I mean, if they don't spend the first two minutes mentioning how weird the sets are, just to get out of the way and then push forward, right? They have so much fun with the uh, fun with that. Yep, I'm super looking forward to it. Then give us a Lodex movie. Live action movie. Go, do it. <laughs> do it. Yes. Oh my god, yes. I, I love that they make the characters look like the actors because it's just it it's perfect for this kind of thing. So Yeah, I mean that was boy, if they'd done any less like the char- like the actors, this wouldn't have worked. Cause you know, so many don't obviously look like them. Most don't normally. Is this tends to be what race, height, there's a there's a set that you can stay within. But that's all. I, mean, I don't know if the, don't think the guy, the Bajoran guy looks like a Bajoran guy, right? He's bigger. He, yeah. So they were, yeah, they were obviously like stayed within a realm, luckily, and, and um, few. Except purple hair. We'll see. I'm disappointed about the purple hair. Thing. I, I think it's I'm, gonna be there. It's just gonna be not the big subtle. point. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be like a a, a dark. It looks almost black. But under certain lighting, it'll look. Even I think purple. it might look too silly though. They might have said it's just too much because I've been. Because he, ah, oh. no, he can't. I know. I mean, uh, the, the press photo is is comical. Because it's clearly a wig, and they got even got the same styling. Um, but the the styling is just an exaggerated animated thing. So, but he does say he does dye his hair purple. That was a that was a, a reveal yes. in season three. So you could easily have him be between the cycles, because then you don't that, that they look very serious. They're, they're, those uniforms aren't overdoing it that feels really well balanced if he had bright purple hair it could maybe be black with a purple hue maybe purple like strands in it i don't know maybe i, I can imagine a, a balanced way of doing it but you don't want it to be distracting though right you don't want it to be like oh 
He has giant purple hair. This is a thing we're doing. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Uh, the, the, actually, the press photo looks like he's kind of trying to emulate Pike's hair. <laughs> at least in this styling. Anyway, yeah, so that's a look at the, the live action uniforms from what we've seen so far. I'm sure once we get clearer images, we will definitely take another look at this. But we wanted to get this out there and show you guys. If you hadn't seen it, here it is. If you hadn't seen it, here it is. <laughs> let us know. Let us know down in the comments section what you guys thought about this, what you can expect from the live action, or what you want to expect from the live action. And uh, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and join us for lives where we talk about this kind of thing and much more. And if you can support us while you're here, you can join us monthly via Patreon or join the channel on YouTube. There's a join button. Or Patreon is a join button. Easy peasy, right? Or you can one-time donation at trackyards.hotmail.com. As I said, one-time, PayPal, helps. All helps. We have plans, Stuart, but we need funding. Or super chatting on our lives. Every single week we discuss things, bobs, people, episodes, and you can say, hey, I have a thought. Here's five bucks to keep the show going. That's what we love. If you can, please do. If you can't, don't worry. Just keep watching. But stick around for the next episode. And super thanks if you're able to. Yeah. All the ways, Stuart. All the ways. So until next time, here's Commander Crackings. You got a Bye, guys. Bye.